We are back for a little more fab work today down at the shop. Uh, we're working on building up a plate uh, to go right here that's gonna sit under the body. Basically just protect the battle box, the top of it. So what we've got here is a big sheet of 18 gauge steel. We're gonna measure out some lines and cut out a section and then bend that over the top. All right, so we're making a lip for this right now. So what we're doing is we're putting our angle finder on here. We're seeing that our angle is about 54, 55. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the bender. You wanna be right on the line or where do you want it? Yeah. All right, cool, that looks good. So we're gonna set our angle finder on the metal. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then, we're gonna pull that bottom lever and we're gonna bend until we reach our angle. So it's 54, 55. Perfect. So now we can rivet this here, and then that's gonna wrap down around, protect on that side. Then we're gonna make a custom dash uh, for our gauge pods that'll rivet right into this top piece. And then we're all done. We'll have a dash that sits right here. It'll be riveted into this. It'll all be one nice piece. All right, we're mocking up this plate for down here. This stuff's quarter inch, but we don't have to go quite that thick up front here. So we're gonna run some uh, 14 gauge, which is, so there's quarter inch. And then there is the 14 gauge. So anyway, so we're measuring this out. Uh, we're gonna cut our piece, check that it fits there. So Kevin, if you're watching this, you have a lot of welding coming up on Saturday when we get over here. All right guys, we're back for part two uh, on the fab up for this. I'm working on the windshield right now. They're working on the front bumper. Uh, so we're gonna take this in here. We're gonna cut this with a bandsaw and then clean it up a little bit. So let's get at that. All right, little status update. We have our windshield cut. So that's gonna sit on the outside and we're building a bracket uh, up inside there uh, to hold that in. So that's done. Um, they are working on the front bumper right now. We've got our tabs welded in. on the side. Yeah, I can get it there. So those are welded on for the bumper. So we get another quick disconnect on the front as well. Kevin is working on welding right now to get the bottom piece of the bracket in. That one's gonna be done. Then we can start bending up some bars for the front bumper. 
Uh, Kevin and Ken also got the window net in today. So the window net is mostly set. We got our bracket in. We just click disconnect, pull down, comes right out. So these were welded on this morning. So let's stick that back in. Boom, window net's in. We've still got to put a bracket down here for this to hold on to, uh, but that's a pretty simple thing to do. All right, guys, so we're about to bend up the front bumper. So we're using a program uh, to do that. So we're gonna show you how this works. Um, your top box here is the length across, what did we said, 36? Yeah, so we're going center to center, 32, 32 inches. 32, okay. And then coming out from the front of the bumper, I want to get that to zero, so if we do eight, that puts it at a half inch, so let's go 8.5. That mean we start the bend right at the the clamp okay. on the thing, and then we make a mark at 29 and 3 eighths, and then we start our, our next bend there. So what's the total length of tubing that we need to cut? We're at 45 and 3 quarters, and once it's done, it'll weigh 6.1 pounds. See, that's, that's technology. So back in the old days, they didn't have stuff like this. So they had to kind of figure it out on their own. Uh, fortunately, we have technology, so it makes our lives a little bit easier. So we're gonna go cut a 45 and three quarter inch piece of pipe and bend it up. To give you an idea of what we're doing, we're bending up this front bumper. We've got the first one already done and tacked on, uh, but this is a two-part system. We're going to have one here, one on top, and then the support bars in the center, just like in the rear. So how we got the two support bars here and the two support bars here, we're doing the same exact thing. So there and there, bending up that second bar, so let's go look at that. So the two bars we're putting in between the bumper, we have to measure the space because we're coming up at an angle. So what we're doing is we're measuring our space and then we're measuring the degree of angle coming up so that when we cut the ends off, uh, it keeps that same shape. So we'll show you how that works here in just a sec. Alright guys, today's 4th of July, so we are going to go enjoy some dinner with the family, some fireworks, some stuff like that. Uh, we got a little bit done today, uh, but we're going to go ahead and call it a day. So here's our progress for the day. Uh, we got these done. We got our window net mostly done. Uh, we got our glass cut for the body. We got our tabs. Once the bars are welded in there, these are going to sit behind and then that's going to be uh, pop riveted in. So that's good to go. Um, we're so close to being done with this front bumper. And then once that's done, uh, we're waiting on some tubing and we're waiting on a die to finish up the rear. So the next little project that we're gonna do is the roll cage on the BRZ, because this right here is the tubing for the BRZ. So uh, that's gonna be a pretty sweet project. That one starts hopefully in about a week. Um, like I said, we're going on vacation for a few days. So after that, we'll get started on that project. So um, that's gonna go ahead and do it for us. Thanks guys. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, and as always, if it's stolen or wrecked, we're gonna rebuild it and race it. Thanks guys.